Hello class. In this lecture, we will learn the gate characteristics of a thyristor. Figure shows the forward gate characteristics of a thyristor. The forward gate characteristics of a thyristor is spread between two curves, curve 1 as shown over here and curve 2 as shown over here. The spread of the characteristics between curve 1 and curve 2 is due to the inadvertent difference of the doping levels between individual thyristors. Curve 1 represents the minimum values of voltages required to turn on a thyristor. Curve 2 represents the maximum value of voltages that can be applied to a thyristor without damaging it. Also, maximum value of gate voltage VGM and maximum value of gate current IGM is shown over here. These values must not be exceeded so that the thyristor does not get damaged. The curve over here shows the average gate power dissipation curve. It is denoted by PGAV. If the average gate power dissipation exceeds the PGAV curve, the thyristor can get damaged. The minimum value of gate voltage OY and minimum value of gate current OX required to turn on a thyristor are also specified. If the thyristor exceeds the value of VGM, exceeds the value of IGM and exceeds the value of PGAV, the thyristor can get damaged. The operating point of a thyristor must be confined in the region B, C, D, E, F, G, H, B. OA represents the minimum non-triggerable gate voltage. All the noise signals and spurious signals must be below the value of OA so that the thyristor does not get turned on at any undesirable instant. Figure shows the trigger circuit connected across gate and cathode of an SCR. ES is the gate to source voltage. RS is the gate to source resistance. VG is the gate to cathode voltage and IG is the gate current. The value of source resistance RS must be such that the gate current IG equal to ES upon RS must not damage the source ES as well as the gate circuit. If the value of RS is small and the gate current is large, an external resistance can be added over here in order to limit the gate current. An external resistance R1 is connected across the gate cathode circuit in order to provide an easy path for the leakage current through R1. A thyristor can be considered as a charge controlled device. Higher the magnitude of gate current, lesser is the time required to turn on a thyristor. In practice, a gate current of large magnitude is applied to a thyristor so that the thyristor turns on in a short interval of time. The pulse width capital T must be selected such that the anode to cathode current must be greater than latching current. Usually the value of T is selected greater than the turn on time T on of a thyristor. With pulse triggering, greater amount of gate power dissipation can be allowed. However, it must be observed that this gate power dissipation must be less than PGM, which is specified by the manufacturer. PGM stands for Peak Instantaneous Gate Power Dissipation. Every manufacturer specifies the maximum reverse voltage that can be applied across the gate cathode junction. If this value is exceeded, the gate cathode junction can get damaged. To avoid this, a diode is connected in series with the gate circuit or in parallel across the gate cathode junction.